Alrighty. All right, well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, Dad Son Builds. I'm Serge. I'm Daniel. Uh, we got a little, I guess, little things to talk about first, and then we got some things we want to announce. Uh, first off, we're going to go with the uh, dining spill that we've been doing. And uh, what do you think? Well, Where did we come to on that build? You guys done really good with supporting us uh, on that build, but unfortunately that build has to end off right there because that car is not in real good shape. The body is just way too beat up that it's going to take a lot of work to do. And uh, as you saw in our last episode, the engine is just, the pistons specifically is just broken. Like it's going to take. Yeah, it's got too much work. Uh, I was kind of hoping that the engine and everything was uh, and okay, you just needed refreshing, then we would have just went on with the build and we would work on the body and everything in the future. But since we've come down to uh, uh, a point where the block is bad, uh, internals are bad, and the car exteriorly, uh, externally, or externally, yeah, exterior, exterior there is, you go. Uh, yeah, exterior is in the rough shape. So we decided to scratch the project and, and uh, another thing, if you guys are really interested, just to buy the vehicle from us, we'll uh, leave stuff down below. Yes, uh, we're going to sell the car with some of the parts. We're going to keep the turbo and the stuff that goes with the turbo uh, for another project that uh, we haven't got yet, but we're looking around, we're thinking um, what to get since 91 rear wheel drive car. We're just going to probably look for that. And Meanwhile, uh, we want to thank all the supporters that uh, have signed up, all our subscribers. They've been a lot of uh, motivation. We're really thankful for you guys. Uh, we do apologize. It, it's been about three weeks since we've uploaded Two, yeah, a video. Um, we have you know, things that are going on, trying to decide which way we're going to go with this now, since we've come to a dead end with the um, Acura. Yeah. So now uh, what we're going to have, basically we have a couple options, I uh, have a GTO, which is, um, you'll find out more about it here once we show it to you, um, and we have another car that is a Corvair, is at my neighbor's uh, yard, I bought it from him and it's a, in a lot more rougher shape, and we'll go over there too and uh, explain it and show it to you guys a little bit more after this. So, and the third one is... Um Basically, we're gonna look around for it because we also have a separate engine. We'll show that later today. And uh, we wanna do it with a uh, truck. Yeah, uh, well, the engine that I'm gonna show you guys that is in the uh, GTO right now, it's a GM350. It's not a Pontiac engine. So I didn't make it work in the, uh, engine, uh, in the GTO. So everything ran fine until... Uh, the computer broke. It didn't break. I, uh, well, the broke. wire it it landed out. on the header. Yeah, and I'll show it to you guys uh, once we're in there. It shorted and, and it burnt the computer. So, uh, long story short, it, the car doesn't run because it is fuel injected, but it needs a whole new system. But since I have uh, original uh, 400 uh, Pontiac in the garage, that is basically needs to be put together, and it's got a story about that too. If you guys are interested, uh, I'll do a little bit more talking about that in the future once uh, we get it out and see if we can salvage anything out of it. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to congratulate uh, Cletus McFarland on his uh, purchase with James and... His crew. Yeah, his crew. They have uh, knocked it out of the park. I watch him all the time. Um, we can't wait till you guys open up the track. Probably will never see this video, but we still want to let our uh, viewers know that uh, Cletus McFarland, he's got a YouTube channel too. And we'll put it in the description. Um, yeah, uh, real fun guy, uh, down to earth. Everything is great. What they do, we really enjoy it. So, congratulations, guys. Hope the track is going to get rebuilt. And maybe someday, once we get your car built yeah. and maybe a GTO's running, we can take it out Definitely. there and have a good time and do some burnouts and burn some tires. All right. Thank you, guys. Let's go check out the GTO. All, All right. right, guys. Now we're back in the garage. This is the GTO. It's been a while since I've seen the face of this car because it's just bunched up next to the wall. But it's such a good looking car though. I know. There's just. I mean, car. it's rough on the outside. You, you know, it's got a little bit of rust. But the she's inside. smooth in the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Her soul still lives. So this is a 69 GTO that I got 
in 2004, I think. Uh, the way it happened, I was shopping for a muscle car uh, back in the day, and everything seemed to be so overpriced, and the prices were just going up and up. Now, when I come across this car, these people, I think they were come, uh, were in a car show, and they had it for sale. I found it on Craigslist, and they wanted, I think, about six thousand dollars when that's um, I didn't really have all that money I ended up borrowing a little bit from my best friend's um, sister and uh, she helped me out which I was real grateful and this has been man this is like 2004 for this is like 16 years already I Not have just this that, car because this is 1969 it's about 40 to 50 years old yeah, yeah, this it's, is an it's old good. car. It's, it's an old car. Uh, that's uh, that's a fact. half a decade. Yeah, <laughs> and basically, uh, she helped me no. out. She borrowed me money. No, half a century. And, uh, I, I drove, I think, two and a half hours to go pick this car up. We made a deal. Uh, I drove it back home. It was a run and drive car. Uh, it had a little bit of tick in the motor. The owner, uh, the previous owner, told me everything about the car. He was honest, and everything was uh, exactly what he told me, uh, which I was happy uh, when I got there. So I was, you know, I didn't really come into a pile of crap. But um, the car ran and drove. Uh, it was a good car. Um, the engine is—that's <laughs> the original engine. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna show this. That's the so, original engine. That's the original engine from the uh, that I pulled out, and it is buried now underneath of our old household stuff. But the uh, the car uh, that I was talking about, go ahead and open it. I did uh, swap the engine and transmission um, out of it. Let me see. I'll probably stand over here. It'd be a little better. So as you can see, it is fuel injected. It's got fuel injectors. This is just uh, basically to make it look like it's uh, carbureted, carbureted uh, to be a little bit more authentic. But everything else has got fuel pressure regulator. Uh, I put the uh, uh, how I made this work was uh, use these headers there. I think from a '69 Chevelle to make it work on uh, on this GTO. This is a 350. So, and I think it was, uh, it's not even a four bolt main. It's, I think it was a two bolt main. And that's why I think it would be a little better suited for an older pickup truck than uh, a GTO, which uh, was still built to be reliable. And I have all the paper, I got a whole file for, for the whole thing. But uh, I did a lot of work on it. Um, I did this in Arkansas when I was working in the shop. And um, it's a little dusty, but I kind of went over, tried to paint uh, so it wouldn't rust. I did the little bit of an inside. This is a little dusty, but I painted the back wall, the firewall, everything, so it would, you know, be. I wouldn't have to do anything when the engine's in here. So it works. It, it worked. It ran. It was great. It sounded good. I did have the exhaust on the. Is it? Side I think I did it only on one side. Let me see. If I can... uh, yeah, it comes out. It's pretty low. The tires are low, and this is uh, air and shock, so it goes up a little bit. But you can see it's it's basically almost touching the ground. Wow. Yeah, tires. Are... I it's this car has been neglected for a few years. Let's just say that. <laughs> Haven't had time or the money because you know um, life. And uh, different things that are that happens in everybody's uh, life, and, and most, I, I, as I know, most of the people that buy a car that's like this, it just, just basically go not go away. It just waits for a, a time for them to restore it, you know. And I have all the parts, all the chrome pieces, and everything out of this car. The interior needs a lot of attention. Um, we did have cats. In couple here. litters in here pull that computer out that's the computer i was talking about yeah yes. let me see it bring it out all right so what happened was this is the uh the system that's on this gto for uh 
fuel injection. I had one of the wires back here, right in here, that I got already zip tied because that's what caused the short. It just landed on this header and it burnt and it shorted and it burnt the computer. I was a bit upset about that, um, as anybody probably would be after doing all that work. Um, but that's what it looks like. Um, let's do a little bit of walk around on it. Uh, once you shut the hood on it, pull that computer out. This is a weird hood. <laughs> yeah, you have to kind of push on it. Yeah. Just like that, yeah. I'm not gonna shut it yet, but that's what it looks like. And it does have, uh, well, that's part right there that yeah. goes. It's like a splitter ish. It's, yeah, it's just a cover, I guess, for underneath it, which I wanted to make uh, a splitter a little bit for it to make, yeah, to Stick make this front uh, match with it. It would look real nice, I think. But I think we'll have a little better render. Uh, if uh, you guys comment below and see which project we're gonna do next and we'll do a little rendering on the car and see what what we're gonna build it to no. You know, you know what this will be a, this will be a really good cruiser slash drag racing you know? Right well, I don't want it to be a drag racing car. I want it to be a good uh, reliable car that I could drive around and just burn off these tires whenever I want to. Then probably a little a bit really of a uh, high powered cruiser. <laughs> a little bit of want. yeah, a little bit of teenager still in me. Ow. So but as you can see, look, I mean it's dusty. Dining no, 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 wrote on here. Wash me. Wash me. Now there's a little caveat with this GTO as people that know GTOs would have already noticed. Um, I don't notice things. I just see a green car in the garage. <laughs> right, and you know what it is? It's actually a GTO clone. A GTO clone? Wait, do you hold know, on. Do you know what a GTO clone is? The, is it just a replica? It's not a replica. It's a clone. Basically, what this car used to be was a Pontiac Le Mans. And who had it before me? Put all the GTO parts on it. Oh! So it's not a real GTO, but it is a clone. No wonder where the badges were. The <laughs> badges are crooked. I mean, look at this. It's like this letter is kind of whooped. Yeah, it kind of goes. You can like the down. old jump two feet before. Yeah, it like the I mean, this. Yeah, what, what's going on with the O? What happened to it? Wait. So this. So, and wow. Danik, obviously, he didn't even know about that. I he didn't... just always knew that there was a GTO in a garage. So, <clears throat> I'm... <laughs> right, <laughs> my head just exploded <laughs> from my body. So the uh, the interior. So, like, so you're telling me like more of this body style is. It has a Hearst. What a, what was it? Um, a Fisher thing? What's a Fisher? It's a. Um, whatever that is, Fisher, right? It's got all these things that are from, I guess, from a GTO that somebody put together, and it looked pretty good when I had it. It's just been sitting a lot, and we've uh, kind of let the cats abuse it, and now I have to tear everything out, all the carpet. Uh, there is on the on the on the. Uh, Driver's side, the floorboard needs to be replaced. But other than that, the car is pretty solid. It has a little bit of bondo, I think, on that side somewhere. It's something was cracking. But overall, there is it's pretty straight. Um, as you guys can see. No, no dents. I don't see a dent. Wait till it takes so. it to a professional shop and just covers it in bondo. No, no, we're not taking it to no professional shop. We're doing it all ourselves. Yeah. But, okay. So, basically, that's what it looks right like. Here. Well, that's just from the rust and everything coming up. And it does, like, see, 
You see the white? That yeah. looks like that used to be bondo. just Bondo that somebody just tried to cover and uh, paint over. And we'll, we'll have to clean all that up. And, and uh, well, uh, probably so a challenge will be would be popping these windows out and uh, yeah, trying can. to uh, preserve them so they don't blow up on us or mm, yeah. crack. There's some old windows. Yeah, I I'm not even sure if this window is tempered. It's got to be. It's just almost 70. So the car itself is not bad it just needs <laughs> it just needs a little love. attention a little bit of love a little bit of scrubbing a little bit of paint well you know what what we can do for now just try to clean it up basically right and Make so it. that's why we're uh showing you this because we want to see what uh what you guys think what you guys think so we gotta go show the curveyor yes but now this here is the first option Mm -hmm. Which I would definitely like to do. I said we'll probably do a muscle car. Well, there's a, we already got two, so the Col Colbert is muscle. Eh, it's it's a classic. Let's just call it a class. We'll well, it classic, classic, yeah. Or with something new, like we could probably do a drift build pretty soon, or something. right. That's what we're gonna do with the uh, because of the Acura. We're gonna try to sell that whatever we get out of it. Uh, we we won't sell we won't sell the turbo and all the th stuff that goes to the turbo, but yeah, we, we will go. We keep turbo. <laughs> we keep the turbo. Right, and and it might be I don't know how old the turbo is because the turbos have gone a long way uh, since it's a that Garrett. turbo. It's a Garrett, right? Even Garrett is is much better, brand new. But still, this there he this is. is number one option. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's uh, let's go over to uh, the neighbors where the car is, yeah. who I bought it from, and we will uh, walk around the Corvair and yeah. talk about it a little bit. All right, well, this is the Corvair that I was talking about. Uh, it is under a roof, but it's been sitting out here for a little while, and uh, we have the previous owner here with us, and he has a lot more information than I do about it. Yeah. So come on in here, Aaron. Oh. The information that I have is not very uh, interesting. Well, it may be interesting, but I don't know how accurate I am. <laughs> My grandmother bought this car. Uh, was, I was seven years old when she actually obtained it. I think there's 8,900 something miles on the uh, pack, which is the original mile. She bought it and it actually sat in the garage for probably 10 years. And when I was in high school, my dad replaced all the seals in the motor and got it running. I drove it for about a week. And then we uh, parked it at his house for a while and really hadn't been driven much at all. Uh, she, she bought it from a guy's wife uh, who passed away like three months after he got it for her. He didn't want the car anymore, so my grandmother bought it. I want to say a little bit of nothing. Pretty much just been sitting. Uh, we never really did anything to it. We put a new top on it. As you can see, the top's already top Dest gone. destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, dry it all it has yeah. two two barrels on it. Uh, it's a 110 horsepower, I think. Not it's a flat six, six, six or what is it? It's a like a boxer I engine. I couldn't tell you anything about it. You can, if you know about it, you can look under the. Right. Um, we'll do some more uh, investigating uh, on what the if engine you can is. See Trunk open, which is in front. It's actually, you gotta more have to get the key. Uh, uh, the trunk looks like it's never been touched. I mean, it looks brand new under there. Right. Okay. Which obviously the car is set forever. Uh, but it's really neat with the low miles and stuff. It really needs to go to somebody that knows what they're doing to fix it. Cause it's really cool. I think the safety ratings on them are not very good for back in the time. Right, I hear uh, what I heard. I think it was from Jay Leno is when I learned the, uh, he said the people usually had the tires overinflated in the front. And so it always would understeer and people would wreck right. because uh, the tires in the front were supposed to be lower in uh, air pressure. So they would get a grip. little more grip. Right. And because of the engine is in the back, 
uh, not in the front. So we, now we can officially call this a frunk. Frunk. We got a supercar with a frunk. It looks. I wish. Uh, <laughs> That'd be pretty cool if it was. Yeah, yeah, it would. Uh, this is another car that he got. Yeah, this is a uh, a car that I, I I got from and he didn't know what to do with it. He just wanted to uh, sell somebody that would restore it and bring it back to life. And I figured that would be a good idea since I'm I just live right there, and uh, he would be able to see it. Not there. Once we restore it. Okay. Be right front. back. Meanwhile, uh, we're gonna do a little walk around. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. So, uh, what it looks like the basic color or the first color? Kind of looks maroonish. Yeah, a little maroon. It's a bit dusty. You can get to see cats crawling all over. Yep. This side is just full of This window is. Yeah, I mean this car has been here for years. Yeah, this is what 1950. Uh, no. What did he say it was? I, I don't even know. I bought it. I don't even know what it is. I so, think it's a 1950. No, no. I, uh, Wait, we'll, we'll have to ask him when he gets back in here. 50, 60, something. And uh, this is what, let me get back here and show the uh, interior a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I was going to show the tech on there and see what the uh, original. I popped the uh, back on it before I bought it to uh, actually see if uh, the motor and everything was you know just kind of in original form and it really was I, I couldn't believe it it was everything that you pop that's been closed looks brand new yeah that, you know it really looks like it was never touched inside the interior is destroyed because the top is gone well yeah you know, another thing like if we just probably replace the oil the replace the ga gas in it uh, and a couple of pipes and stuff it probably could fire up. It would, it, since it's carbureted, I think it would need to be really flushed out in the carburetor. Yeah. Rebuilt. Uh, what I've learned a little bit, I didn't do a whole bunch of research, but I, what I've learned about it, the carburetors will get clogged up and we'll have to send it in to get them rebuilt because I don't know much Well, do just of like anything one about, or two tweaking things and then all of a sudden you got the car that fires up. So, yes, it's not it as would, much work. It would definitely anything. fire, I think. I, I think it definitely would fire up. No. Boom. <laughs> All oh, right. Look at that. He got a key. Now we got the keys. Beautiful. All right. Uh, you want... Look at the fancy fobless key. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's open the front. <laughs> see how we get in here. I'm not sure how. bit chilly outside. <laughs> yeah, it is. Nah, I ain't buy it yet. Not yet? Let that sun go down. <laughs> I know you're talking. We even got Daytona wheels. Look at them shoes on this car. Daytona Sport. Sport. <laughs> After a couple come to my house, I gotta walk me outside. Oh, there you go. All right. <laughs> That's original. This is probably for a turbo that used to be in here. And uh, we don't need that anymore. But this is a good, wow, this is a solid pipe. Line. This that means no water this. went through. That's Look at that. <laughs> look at this. All original. Wow. Just looks. Oh, look at that pump. We got some major rust. That's, yes, that, that's, that all would have to be repaired. Bondo. <laughs> no, no, no. You, no. you, you can Fred repair steel it. You can repair to it. it, yeah. That's repairable. We don't want to do a whole bunch of bond on this car. We want to repair The seal it. needs to be replaced. Yep. But look at the... Uh, is that the... That's how... It was just cool? like textured inside. That is what? That's crazy. That is weird. probably had a carpet in here or something. Oh, gosh. That's solid. Wow. Okay. So, it looks not too bad. I mean, I'm sure this probably was... Oh, this is the original carpet in there. <laughs> this little thing. <laughs> right? Tray. <laughs> a little bit of brake fluid. Yeah, this is coast, coastal. I'm not sure what that is. Some old duct tape. If you can't duck it, then you know the rest. All right. That's the front. 
<laughs> All right, let's open up the back. Yeah, I, I, I have not seen the motor on this, so it's gonna be a surprise for me. Uh, you probably have to turn the key, key to lock it in. Yeah. Whoop. Help him out with that. Hey. There you go. That ain't good. Go go around and see if we can uh, pop that open. Uh, no, I think we used the key last time, eh? We're, uh, we're about to break our necks over here trying to open this. Uh, 110. Two barrel. Wow. That, One ten. That's a big space for it's going. Wonder, can we turn on the light on this thing? Yeah. Or is, sure no, it doesn't doesn't work no more. No, uh, there's supposed to be a flash on there. Like I can't. here, let me see it real quick. Hold up. Let me see that. All right, so that's what yeah. we got right here. It's very small, compact, but you pushing. One ten, little powerful. Air cool. Air cooled, uh, not water cooled. It's air cooled. Okay. It's air cooled. Yeah. Wow. We got a little bit of seepage here. Or something. Something coming out of here. I can't yeah, tell insane. what that is. I'm 42. Uh, she bought the car for me when I was seven, and I know it's only been driven about. What year is this again? I'm not sure if it's a 65 or a 66. Okay. Okay. Uh, so maybe a 65 and a half. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. But I've got the title. Like it the, probably could be right. Right. Like, there you go, Jay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It ain't going nowhere. Let me see. Uh, keep that open, Jay. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can see the tech at the miles. So let's see. 80. What is that? Yep, 8,902 miles. Wow. So. That's not a lot. Wow, this back seat is tomorrow. Everything's tore oh, up. Oh, never mind, never mind. This is the foam part. I thought it was the whole seat. Ah, like, uh, no, no, no. Man, that used yeah, to be one just... comfy couch. Right, all this is just needs a lot of cleanup and Again, a little bit of thing. reconditioning. A little bit of attention, a little bit of love, and it should be on the road pretty soon. So, but this, this is the this, second option. Yes, <laughs> second option and a lot more work option. Yeah. I've but got, it's, I've a, got, it's a it's a good good car, good solid car. Surprisingly, there is no dents. I'm making up now, but it has a little bit of damage. I can see right here, but this uh, stuff probably we can all find. Um, it's not too bad, yeah. Right. Uh, just yeah, that would take a little bit of body work. But some of these parts, yeah, there'll be some new metal because we got a little bit of rust coming through right there. So uh, all that will have to be probably cut and uh, refabricated in there, which is uh, it's part of the build. Oh man, well, I don't know. It's got <laughs> Daytona tires on there. Did you see that? This must be a race car before. Yeah. So, a 64 or 65, <clears throat> we, we can work with that. 65 or 66, okay. okay. And uh, that's what it looks like. Yep. All right. All right, you guys. Well, now that uh, we've seen, you guys seen everything that we have. Mm -hmm. um, we want to uh, see what you guys think, which project uh, you guys like better or which part we should work on. Yeah, so leave that in the comments below. I will yeah. definitely take a look at him uh, uh, next week. If you guys decide on which car that we're going to build, uh, we'll definitely start it. So because we're kind of low on content, we need to bring that back up. So Yeah, we just haven't had, we, like we said in the beginning, uh, that we've come to a little stop. We weren't sure where to go with it and what to do about it. We just said, okay, we're just going to scrap it and go with something else. We we're pondering about it too much. So uh, we got to get something going. Uh, we've had people, you know, asking, 
All right, this is getting too long. So, uh, boat, we, we appreciate you guys for uh, watching the videos. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if somebody is new watching this, this really helps us, uh, motivates us to, uh, to create more it. content. Yes, and uh, maybe we can make it a little bit more fun or something uh, if uh, we see more subscribers. Oh, and another thing is that we're trying to up uh, our editing. So if it's a little bit wonky here and there, I'm yeah, trying to be editors. It's so. all right, anybody. If, if you guys got tips and stuff that you want, you want to share, comment down below. If you don't like it, comment down below. We, uh, we'll, well, we'll, we'll take a both anyways. All. Yes, we, we have to learn somehow. So that'll give us, you know, a little bit of tips what we're doing wrong or what we're doing right. All right, thank you guys, and uh, see you in the next That's Some Builds video. Yes. <laughs>